Now some people are puzzled over what operating system I use. I mean, if we take a look at this, you can see in the corner, if I move this folder out of the way, it says Clem OS. And if you look at the folders, they look rather different to your typical Windows folders. Well, I'm going to tell you what this is. This is not Linux, like a lot of people think. This is actually a customized Windows 10. It's Windows 10 LTSC. And with window blinds, I've made it look like this. And also open shell as well, so I can get the start menu. However, I have lost the ISO of that, so I'm re-downloading it. I don't know why it's coming in so slow, but uh, yeah, it's going to take a while because that's going to go on the SSD. And now I'm going to make a bootable USB from the ISO that I just downloaded. It's all set to go. Yeah, there's nothing on there I want to keep, so we can just format that. And off it goes. Yes, everybody. This is the Windows that Microsoft does not want you to have. They want you to have Windows that's loaded with bloatware and spies on you and stuff like that and gives you a difficult to nav navigate start menu. This, however, is much better. Especially when I use OpenShell to make my own start menu. Right, well, almost ready to install the solid state drive. Get my graphics card out first because that's going to be in the way. Put that back in later. Man, I never realized just how dusty it is in here. I'm just giving that little bit of a brush down. Not perfect, but much better. There we go. That's in. Just need to secure it down. Get some more dust out of this computer. Put the graphic card back in. And see if it works. There. Yeah, that's in. Now I've just got to put the computer back together and hope it survived all that. Time to see if the computer survived. I still have the other hard drive in there. Don't even know if it's going to boot, but... We'll see. Does anything come up on the screen? It's turned green. It's booting into Windows. Obviously, it's booting in from this hard drive. So let's see if it detects the SSD. I have been searching for this screwdriver for the past two months now. And I finally found it. So I decided I'd tie it to a piece of string so I don't ever lose it again. Just like I did in my dream. This BIOS on this computer is harder to get into than Fort Knox. Not that I've actually ever tried doing that. I have tried just about everything. To get into the BIOS, only to have it boot up Windows. So I have to wait for Windows to boot up. So like Windows 98. Like I said, I have to wait for the computer to boot up, so I have to shut it down again. Just so I can have another failed attempt at getting into the BIOS. I'm going to try one last thing and then I'm going to give up. Well, being nice to it doesn't seem to have worked, so I'm going to try and force it. So if that works... It'll probably just boot straight into Windows 10 again, but we can hope. Ah, I've got a menu. I've got a menu. Finally, we're here. Now I can see if it notices where it's um solid state drive. Well, I've installed the solid-state hard drive, but it doesn't seem to be detecting it. So, yeah, I'm going to try it in the other slot. Which means the whole lot is going to have to come out again. But hopefully that will fix the problem. Okay, 1700th time to charm, so... 
It is now in its new slot. Windows is booting up. And we'll see what we get. Success! Well, we're almost there. Right. So I'm going to initialize the solid state drive. There we are. There it is. Alright, well, let's partition it. Alright, and here is our solid state drive, and I'm going to put windows onto that, but that's going to be for another day.